Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and today we're going to make a mini, mini album, or a mini journal. I have bought, a while ago, I bought these little notebooks. They're just little plain notebooks, made on quite a, a really good paper, but I thought they were larger when I ordered them, and they turned out to be this size instead of the large size that I thought they were. I didn't pay much for them. They were on sale for like 68 cents a piece or something like that. I love the pattern on the front. That is really pretty. But I wanted a thicker notebook to carry in my purse. I take notes at church and, you know, when I'm out and about, if I think of something, a craft that I want to do or something that I want to make, I'll jot it down. And a lot of times I just run out of paper. Right now I am between notebooks. I just got finished with one and I put it up. And so I needed one uh, to put in my purse. And this one, one of these wouldn't really be big enough. I wanted to make one larger. So what we're going to do is glue four of these together. Now I'm going to just start on the front. I'm just going to put some PVA glue here. And you can do this with any size notebooks. You can even do this with those little cheap notebooks that you get at Walmart. Those little, um, what are they called? Uh, the little, like, 49 cent notebooks that you can get at Walmart around this time of year when, or when school's about to start back. You can do this with them as well. You just need to cover the paid you know the cover but other than that this one I'm not going to have to cover the outside because it is already a pretty design now I put a little bit too much glue on that but we're going to go with it I'm going to go ahead and stick one down right on top of it you don't want to put too much glue because it seeps out and then sometimes it can get on your pages and glue some of your pages together but I'm going to try to wipe all that off. You just want to make sure that they're together this way and that way and that way. Just want to make sure that they glue together like that. Really even on this side in particular. Now I am going to put some little clips on this. Okay, I'm going to clip these together and let them dry. And hopefully none of my glue, if your glue's seeping out, just make sure that you wipe it off. Like I said, don't put as much glue as I did. I was thinking about a larger notebook, so we don't need that much glue. Especially on these little edges out here. You don't want to glue your pages together. I'm just going to go through and kind of make sure that I wipe those off. I don't have any pages sticking together. See, I had a couple right there. Whoops. There's another. So just get all of that glue out of there. Because we're going to put something else on these to uh, reinforce them anyway. So, Okay, we're going to lay that one aside and let that one start drying. And we're going to put some glue on this one. And I'm not going to put as much this time, hopefully. So if you don't have any of these, then go, you can go, the next time you go to Walmart, just pick up some of those little composition books, that's what they're called, and you can glue quite a few of those together and just make your little albums. You can make them as thick or as thin as you want. Just going to make sure that I get these as even as possible. Let's see if I have another clip that I can clip these together with. I don't know if I can get that one around it or not. Yep, maybe. Just so. This PVA glue does take just a little while to dry, but it's very, very flexible. So once you once it dries, you're good to go. Okay. That one's a little bit off. 
All right, let's make sure that I didn't glue any of my pages together. I don't think I did. I think I'm going to put another clip on the this edge over here if I can. I need more large clips, but I think I've already used them on something else that I've got going. There we go. That'll work. Okay, now once these gets get glued, then we'll glue this one to this one, and it'll have four thick. So let's lay those aside and let them dry. Okay, we're going to say that these are dry enough. I don't think they're completely dry. But, and some of my pages stuck because I put too much glue. You know, you, you have got those books before that you tried to read and the pages are stuck together. Well, that's because in their warehouse, when they was making all those books, they had somebody like me that was heavy-handed on the glue. And they put way too much glue on it. Okay. So we got all of our pages unstuck. Now what I'm going to do, now this is still a little bit wet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use washi tape. And I'm just going to go right down that seam. And this is an old washi tape that I've had for a while, so let's hope that it holds really well. It's going to hold until all this dries anyway. Once that PVA glue dries, we're not going to have to worry about it coming apart. Okay, I have washi tape on those, and then I did go ahead and put just a stitch right there, uh, just with my sewing machine, so I'd be sure that it'd hold together. You can just put washi tape all over this if you want, or wrap something else around it. I just stuck it over there in my sewing machine and did a little stitch down through there. But that is those two. I did this one the same way. Okay, now... I, I know why it's taking this PVA glue so long to dry. It's because these have just a little bit of a slick cover on them. So I'm taking my Tim Holtz, and I think this is Tim Holtz. No, this is a Prima, sorry. this I'm taking this Prima little file, and I'm going to file off some of that shine just to give it a tooth so that this that um, PVA glue will stick to it. And that works really well. You can see it takes off just enough of that tooth there. So let me get the shavings off of our table. And then this time we're going to put a little bit of glue. I'm just going to basically put it in the center because since we are going to use our washi tape. Because when I press these together, it's going to press out to the edges anyway. So we don't want it pressing out too far. Okay. Oh, I just looked up because I thought I wasn't recording. I'm recording. All right. Now we are going to press these together and let them dry. And let's see. I don't know. Ooh. Maybe it'll go around. Okay, I'm going to set something really heavy on top of this and let that dry because that clip is going to go for a ride here in a minute. So I'm just going to set a heavy book on this and let it dry and then we will come back and we'll put these together. Now that one stuck so much better since it was... Um, since I sanded it down a little bit. So we're going to put our washi on here. There we are, that should hold it. And then I am gonna go ahead and just stitch down through here just so that it gives that extra hold. All right, there we go, we've got our little notebook. And now I want to put some lace on the spine part. 
uh, you can do different things here if you don't want to do lace you can just put some tape around it whatever you would like to do I'm going to use this lace now I've glued three pieces of lace together and I'm hoping that they're holding well they look like they are because each one of these laces was not wide enough to do the whole thing so I just glued them together and then I'm just going to run it down the seam just like that and glue all of that down and then it'll come around to the front just a little bit and I'm going to use my three and one for this if we can get enough of it out of there which I think we can there we go So we have that piece down that covers that spine and then we're just going to pull this around and glue it to the front and then a piece to the back. These things are worth their weight in gold um, if you don't like getting glue on your fingers like I don't they will stick it down but yet they don't get get gummed up with glue so there we go got that on now I'm gonna do a little bit bit of embellishing on the front not much because I am gonna be using this and I don't want to Put a lot of things on the front that might get torn off but I've just got a few little pieces that I want to put on here you could just leave it as is you don't have to decorate it this is oh I think I printed these off from somewhere I don't remember where it was one of those sites that you can print and uh, it is copyright free but I, I don't sell these or anything I just printed them off for my own personal use so then I want to tuck this under there I should have done that first like that and then this little piece is just one of those little notes and I've kind of crumpled it up and it needs to go right up under there. I want to wrinkle it up just a little bit in the middle, not much. There we go. I want that. Okay, let's put a little bit more glue right here. And then I was thinking about a little flower right there on the front, but I'm not sure. Let me look at that. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. I glue it down well. It's not going anywhere. 
So we're going to hold that for just a second. And there is our little notebooks. Lots and lots of pages that we can use to journal on or take our notes on, take notes at church. And I am going to have to go through here and separate my pages, I'm sure, because of my heavy-handed glue. But that's fine. I can go through and separate them and then just leave it open for a while until everything dries well. But that is it. That's just how quick and easy it is to make one of these little small journals or mini albums whatever you want to call it and like I said you can use those composition books from Walmart you know the big big ones that are like eight and a half by eleven you can use those to make these too I just happen to have a few of these little notepads so I decided I would stick them together and use them to take in my purse to take notes and that kind of thing all right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.